On the XY, USD index price is currently sitting inside these two support and resistance uh, areas. So we'll be looking for objective sell setups as price approaches our upper resistance and for buy setups as price approaches our lower support. And as you can see, price formed a head and shoulders pattern around support. So we are waiting for a momentum candle close above 94 to consider buying the XY as the buyers will take full control by breaking above the neckline and our resistance 94. Meanwhile, until our buy is activated after a break above 94 would be overall bearish and this level or area would act as resistance zone. So we'll be looking for sell setups around it as mentioned before. So we'll be waiting for a new swing to form around our lower blue trend line to consider it valid and to consider it as our last uh, swing then we will sell after a momentum candle close below it as usual and when the sell is activated our stop loss would be just above the last swing high or above the last red dot we also have htl and we target a 2 to 1 which to the old ratio which would be around the uh, lower support so these are our uh, two possible scenarios waiting for a momentum candle close or break above 94 to buy or waiting for a third swing to form around our blue trend line to consider it valid and then sell uh, on its break downwards best of luck on gold h4 time frame as you can see this one is overall bearish trading inside this giant uh, channel in blue so we'll be looking for objective trend following sell setups on lower time frames that's why we are waiting for uh, a third swing to form around this red trend line which is already formed on h4 time frame to consider it valid and then we will enter sell after a momentum candle close below this swing that's what we are waiting for uh, on uh, gold a trend following sell setup unless price breaks our uh, our upper blue trend line objectively uh, and I insist on the word objectively as if price breaks above the red, uh, the blue trend line will not buy or the bullish movements will not be confirmed. We always wait for the last swing uh, to confirm that the buyers are now taking control. So here are our two possible scenarios uh, on gold. We'll be waiting for a momentum can kind of close below uh, the lower gray zone to sell gold which which i personally prefer and i will be waiting or be, will be waiting for a momentum candle close above uh, the upper gray zone to uh, buy gold for the long term uh, half risk is recommended for the buy as the stop loss would be huge for the sell as usual or the buy uh, when the sell is activated our stop loss would be just above the last swing from the other side and we target a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio best of luck on usd jpy daily time frame price is currently sitting around a strong support zone in green as you can see many rejections from it so we'll be looking for objective buy setups on lower time frames knowing that price can still test the lower uh, uh, green level before going upward if we zoom into h1 time frame we can see that usd jpy formed an inverse head and shoulders pattern and we also have a divergence on macd while price was making low lows macd was making higher lows but for now uh, the spare is not ready to go yet as we will always wait for our trigger which would be a momentum candle close above our neckline and when the setup is activated our stop loss would be just below the right shoulder and we target a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio we're only interested in buying setups for now at price is sitting around support if a, uh, if a sell setup is formed we will not sell even if uh, it is activated as price uh, as mentioned before is sitting around support so uh, if price keeps on uh, moving down as mentioned from daily time frame we will be looking for new uh, objective uh, buy setups for example we will extend the strand line and we'll be waiting for a third swing to form around it to consider it valid and then we will enter buy after a momentum can be closed above uh, above its last swing 
For now, uh, that's uh, our two possible scenarios for USDJPY, and best of luck. On Euro AUD daily time frame, price is currently approaching a strong resistance zone in green, as you can see. So we'll be looking for objective sell setups on lower time frames. Unless price breaks it upward aggressively, then our resistance would become support, and we'll be looking for objective buy setups on three tests. For now, price is sitting around resistance, so let's zoom into lower time frames and look for potential sell opportunities. Uh, as you can see here, price is currently forming a head and shoulders pattern. It's not uh, valid yet, it's still an idea. So we'll be waiting for the right shoulder to fall and then we'll enter sell after a momentum candle close uh, below, below our neckline. Here we go. That's the expected movement. Uh, we'll only sell if the right shoulder is formed and uh, a momentum candle closes below our neckline. As usual, when the sell is activated, our stop loss would be just above the right shoulder and we target a 2 to 1 risk to, to reward ratio. Meanwhile, until our sell is activated, we would be overall bullish on Euro AUD. Good luck. On GBP search of daily time frame, price is currently sitting around a strong support zone in green, so we'll be looking for objective buy setups on lower time frames, knowing that price can still dive in before going uh, going upward. If we zoom into H4 time frame, we can see that GBP search F is currently uh, overall bearish from a short term perspective, so it's not a good time uh, to buy yet. We want the buyers to prove to us that they are taking uh, taking control. So we'll be waiting for a third swing to form around our upper blue trend line to consider it valid, and then we'll enter buy after a momentum candle close um, close above it. Uh, that's from a medium term perspective. From M30, we can see that we do have a trend line uh, forming in red. And, but it's not objective yet or it's not valid yet so we'll be waiting for a third swing to form around it to consider it valid and then we'll enter uh, buy after a momentum can close up above its last swing as usual when the buy is activated our stop loss would be just below the last uh, blue dot or last swing uh, low for those who don't have HCL and we target a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio which would be around our upper uh, blue uh, trend line from H4 and as usual we're waiting for a third swing to form around it so enter by uh, from a medium uh, term perspective best of luck on GBP JPY daily time frame price is currently sitting around a strong support so we'll be looking for objective buy setups on lower time frames unless price breaks it downward aggressively then our support would become resistance and we'll be looking for objective sell setups on C test for now our green uh, level 1.36 uh, is acting as support so let's zoom into lower time frames and look for potential buy opportunities as you can see price is currently trading inside this wedge pattern it's not valid yet so we'll be waiting for a third swing to form around our upper um, red trend line to consider it valid and then we'll enter buy after a momentum candle close above the last swing and as usual when the buy is activated our stop loss would be just below the last blue dot or last swing low and we target a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio meanwhile until our buy is activated JP JPY is overall bearish uh, from a short term perspective on GBP NZD daily time frame, price already rejected our support and traded higher, and it's currently retesting our upper uh, support level. So we'll be looking for objective buy setups on lower time frames as a movement uh, till our upper resistance would be expected. And as price approaches our upper uh, 2.0 round number, we'll be looking for sell setups on lower time frames. For now, price is sitting around support, so we'll be looking for objective buy setups on lower time frames, knowing that price can still dive in and test the lower uh, level before going going upwards. If we zoom into H1 time frame, we can see that GP and ZD is currently forming a head and shoulders uh, pattern. So we'll be waiting for a momentum candle close above uh, our neckline to buy this one. And as mentioned from 
from daily time frame gp and zd for now is still overall bearish from a short-term perspective making lower lows and lower highs and can still test our green support before going going upwards but will not sell as price is sitting around support while only interested in buying opportunities but in this case as price approaches our lower support then will extend this trend line or if a new trend line is formed for example for around here then we'll be waiting for a new swing or a third or even more swings to form around it to consider the last swing as our uh, trigger swing and will enter by after a momentum uh, can be close above the swing. These are our two possible scenarios for GBP and ZD, but for now, uh, here's our most probable one. We'll be waiting for a momentum can be close above the neckline to buy this one, and as usual, our stop loss would be just below the, the just below the right the right shoulder, and we target a two to one risk to reward ratio. Best of luck. On AUD and ZD daily time frame, price is currently approaching a strong support and resistance zone in green. As you can see, many rejections from it. So we'll be looking for objective buy setups on lower time frames. Unless price breaks it downward aggressively, then our support would become resistance and we'll be looking for objective sell setups on C test. For now, our zone is acting as support. So let's zoom into lower time frame and look for potential buy opportunities as you can see here we do have a trend line in red but it's still forming so we'll be waiting for a new swing to form around it to consider it uh, valid and objective and then we'll buy after a momentum candle after a momentum candle close above the gray zone here we go and as usual as when our buy is activated our stop loss will be just below the last uh, blue dot or uh, swing low and we target a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio which would be around this minor supply zone meanwhile under our bias activated would be overall bearish on AUD and ZD